Hello everybody, welcome to Just Upright. My name is Doc Jean Ruder. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm your foreign educated physical therapist guide to US application. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I have tons of videos here in this channel that are intended for foreign educated physical therapists on how to apply here to the US, okay? So uh, there are other videos also if you need timeline for different kinds of visa, working visa, immigrant visa, or timeline from immigrant visa to citizenship, I also have those timelines, uh, timeline videos as well. So I'm doing a series of videos about how are you going to fulfill or complete your deficient subjects as foreign educated physical therapists. So um, majority of foreign educated physical therapists graduate as a bachelor degree. Uh, and then when you do your credentialing process uh, through uh, FCCPT, ICD, you know, other credentialing agencies, uh, you will have a report, will receive a report that you have deficient subjects. And that is a big headache among uh, foreign educated physical therapists. I receive a lot of emails and messages on how are they going to fulfill or complete those deficient subjects. So that's why I'm creating these videos. I already have uh, two videos so far um, that I made. Uh, one is the uh, St. Augustine University and the other one is um, Michigan, uh, University of Michigan Flint. So you can check out those link here on the top uh, if you haven't watched that, okay? So today we're going to talk about the uh, courses or the course or the subjects uh, being offered by the Duke University, okay? And we'll see what are those subjects and how are you going to apply and how much is the fee, okay? All of those guys coming right up. are here in, at the website on the website of the uh, Duke uh, University I will put the link down below okay so uh, this is uh, where you can see the foreign educated physical therapy course okay or FE uh, PT dash C okay so uh, this um, session already begun this year okay so, but we are going to discuss uh, this, uh, the objective and what are the subjects involved in this FEPT-C course of the Duke University. So, uh, as stated here, as you can see here, the main objective of the online course is to provide foundational knowledge of the complexities and nuances of physical therapy policy practice and regulation in the United States that are critical to moving toward licensure then and then practice okay so the goal of this 10 weeks so you know remember it's a 10 week online course okay so uh, two and a half months is to provide internationally e uh, educated physical therapists with overview uh, of healthcare system across the United States and culture and context in which physical therapy is practiced okay so it is assumed that participants in this online course are individuals who are seeking to establish physical therapy educational equivalency in the united states and who subsequently are planning to sit for a national physical therapy licensure exam okay so in this course learners will be exposed to a diverse range of topics including cultural competence the role of the federal and provincial governments acts and regulations guiding pt practice and client-centered care in variety of pt roles and settings okay so successful participants with will earn 2.0 Duke University credits okay so the format this online course again takes place in a 10-week period okay and then uh, each a different topic is covered each week participants are required to complete 
the weekly readings, watch the videos, and participate in discussion forum with other members of their class, okay? Participants should expect to spend a minimum of 5 to 10 hours a week on the course, okay? So, uh, very importantly, okay, uh, you have to know if you went through the um, educational credential review and you receive a report, you have to look at the report from FCCPT or ICD. Uh, what are the topics or what are the subjects that you are deficient with? Okay, and look if any of these subjects are your deficiencies. Okay. So these are the topics or the subjects that we'll be covered in this course, okay? So if none of these uh, subjects uh, belong to the, you know, the deficient subject list that you have, do not take this course, okay? But uh, if you have subjects within this uh, course, then you can take this course, okay? Uh, I think this is like an all or none principle. You cannot just choose one course Okay, uh, you have one subject, sorry. You cannot just choose one subject. For example, my deficient subject is just the direct access and uh, cultural competencies, and then um, I will not take the other subjects. So this is a whole course that covers this topic. So it's like an all or none principle. But of course, to be sure, you can email them and find out for yourself uh, if you can just select. Uh, the specific subject that you will get okay for the completion of your deficient subjects but based on the, their website it seems to me when I read it this is an all or none principle it's one course that covers ver variety of topics okay so these are the subjects uh, federal and state government government's roles in healthcare administrative models of care use and supervision of support staff Determinants of health promotion, wellness and prevention, cultural competencies, client-centered care models, ethics in the profession of physical therapy, direct access, transition to work to the workplace, online evaluation, reflection, and feedback. Okay, so those are, again are the subjects that will be taught in this ten-week period of a course. Okay. Requirements. This course is open to internationally educated physical therapists that meet the English language requirements below. Proof of uh, graduation from physical therapy education program and or licensure if applicable is a requirement to participate in this course. Participants will also need to ensure that they will have full access to a laptop or desktop computer during the course. Okay uh and with high speed internet of course okay language requirements so uh if you read this guys it just say that they don't necessarily require you to pass the TOEFL exam however you are expected as a student uh, that you will be fluent in reading writing and speaking in english language okay uh and it says there there will not be any special provisions given to participants who fail to keep pace with the course or their fellow participants because of English language difficulties. So if you cannot communicate in English, they don't have any special uh, accommodation for you. So that's why they are saying uh, we don't require TOEFL, but you have to make sure that you can communicate in English, read, write, and speak in English, okay? so. This is the feature of the course. It's a 10-week period. They will use Canvas as a learning platform and participants will be able to learn at their own pace, so in, at your own time, at the time of the day that suits them during the week, okay? So the administration fee is $50 and non-refundable and the course is $850, okay? The total fees for the co course is $900 US dollars cancellation policy this course will be canceled and refunds are given if there is insufficient registration if you withdraw from the course before the start date you will receive 800 dollar uh, dollars course fee as a refund there is no refund if you withdraw at the start of the course okay 
okay guys so i hope that is helpful for you okay so um just a summary you know uh even if you go to fsbpt website uh they actually uh endorse the duke university okay as one of the uh ways that you can complete your deficient subjects okay so uh just like what i said before i want to reiterate uh you have to make sure uh that those subjects that are mentioned from their website those are the subjects that you are deficient with okay uh before you enroll okay um and uh also you have to remember that it is the whole course for two and a half months is a 2.0 credit you know semester unit okay so if you're lacking a lot of credits uh a two uh, point zero or two uh, semester unit might not work for you just on its own okay so uh, it is important for you to know what are your deficient subjects okay and uh, Duke University is just one of the options that you can get uh, the deficient subjects if those deficient subjects are the ones listed uh, within the course okay and you have to go to their website uh, for the updated information as to when is the deadline for enrollment okay and also again as of right now and it is subject to change uh their fee is 900 dollars, okay for that uh, two semester unit so guys i hope that is helpful if you have any information that you want to share with me and with our viewers about how did you uh, complete your deficient subjects if you are a foreign educated physical therapist uh, what school did you go to uh, i can make a video so that we can help our fellow foreign educated physical therapists um, uh, with completion of their subjects uh, I'm also going to make more videos about other schools I'm just waiting for updates I emailed uh, some schools about their updates uh, with their courses and with their fees so as soon as I get those information I will make video out of that so make sure to hit that subscribe button guys uh, it's important that you subscribe so that you would be alerted of the new videos that I make also please like this video so that youtube will know that this is a video worth uh sharing and viewing okay so that we can reach more for an educated physical therapist and don't forget to share this video with your uh other fellow educated physical therapists um the, who are searching for answers okay uh, on how to apply here to the U.S. Okay, as a physical therapist, it's a very complicated uh, and complex and overwhelming, intimidating process. So, uh, the more help we can give them, the better. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for um, watching. If you have any questions, video suggestion, just put your comment down below, and I will get to them as soon as I can. Again, until the next video, stay blessed.